So hello and welcome back to RS Links. So you've probably clicked on the thumbnail looking for an update to my previous video which was the problem with the 12 volt battery in my Leaf. Uh, just to do a quick recap, um, I went to the car one morning and it was just dead. It, it wouldn't open. Using the key fob wouldn't make it work. So I had to manually open the door using the key um, that actually pulls out from the key fob and then had to effectively jump start the Leaf using a battery charger hooking up to 12 volt battery to make it actually take a charge and obviously charge the 12 volt battery in the process as well. So um, sorry for the delay in this, but it was like a couple and a half weeks before the dealer could actually see the car. So that, that's why this video is quite a bit late. Um, so it went in and they did a diagnostic of the 12 volt battery and the anticlimactic answer is they didn't find anything wrong with it. So they just said, just see what happens. If it does it again, bring it back and we can investigate further. But as far as they were concerned, the 12 volt battery wasn't at fault. Um, while it was there, I also had the rapid gate update applied to the car as well. Now that actually did cause a problem. So the car went in on the Thursday morning and by five o'clock I hadn't heard anything. So I, I rang them up and see what um, what the status was and they said that the update had actually caused a problem with the car. There was some uh, warning light that was coming on on the dash to do with the high voltage system of the um, the propulsion battery. So they were having to liaise with Nissan to find out what the problem was and, and how to fix it. But next day, um, about half past nine on the Friday, the day after, I had a call and the car was finished. I went to pick it up. So it's not a good conclusion to the video, I don't think. They weren't able to say what the problem was and, and they couldn't even say why it actually happened as well. So I am just gonna keep an eye on it and then um, see if it does it again. If it does, then I'll post another video on here and then follow up from that and see if there's anything different they can do. So yeah, so that, that concludes that. If you didn't see the previous video, um, I'll put a link up in the corner and you can see the whole process of what I had to do to effectively get the car to start when I plugged it into my home charger. Yeah, so thanks for watching, so please like and subscribe. My next video that I'm actually working on at the moment on my PC here is to do with the Model 3. I went down to Brent Cross recently and did a whole session with the Model 3, so that will be coming up um, the next couple of days or so. See you then.